You've seen what 302 cubic inches looks like. You've heard the growl of the Ford V8. You felt the raw power of the 5.0, but you haven't experienced anything quite like this. probably heard the uh, terminology is no replacement for displacement and as I put my arm up on the throttle body here and get dirty you'll see this is a tired 5 liter that we just pulled out of our 85 Fox body Mustang. It only makes about 202 rear wheel horsepower right now and we're going to improve on that dramatically. The motor we're replacing it with is Dart's new SHP 363 cubic inch short block and top end kit. Our 363 however will be a little bit on the wild side with help from some friends. We managed to build a 450 plus horsepower beast from these components and best of all, it fits just like the stock 5 liter did. Once we get this 363 into the Fox Body Mustang, we're then going to put it on the chassis dyno. Tell you we're not screwing around. First, let's take a look at the components. Outside of Dars SHP line of short blocks, they also offer top end kits. Top end kits come with valve covers, intake manifold, bolts, heads. Inside the head selection, you have all sorts of different of intake burner sizes and also iron or aluminum. With this kit, we went with aluminum heads for the obvious weight savings. To make life even easier, Dars put a valve train power package together that is offered in various lifter combinations. Dart worked closely with comp cams to select a package that performed well on the street while making tons of power. For our power package, we want the hydraulic roller setup that includes cam, lifters, timing set, and timing cover gasket. The cam specs include 230, 236 duration of 50, with 513, 526 lift, and 110 degrees of lobe separation. First up was the Dart Pro 1 heads, matched with Felpro head gaskets, provided by Dart in the top end kit. These Pro 1s we selected feature a 195cc intake port, 62cc chamber with 2.02 .02 intake, and 1.60 exhaust valves. With both heads secured to our short block, it was time for the comp cam's 5 16th diameter, 6.550 inch long push rods, and our 1.6 ratio Ultra Pro Magnum rocker arms. Comp's Ultra Pro Magnums are the latest in rocker technology with machined recesses to help cut down on weight. Unlike their aluminum counterparts, the Ultra Pro mags weigh 5% less and can stand up to more power by eliminating flex. With the top end completed, we began to assemble our oiling system, provided by none other than Canton. Canton provided us with an oil pan, louvered windage tray, and all necessary hardware. With the oil pan installed, our 363 was really coming together. Topping off our long block is the BBK SSI intake manifold. Now this package comes with the intake manifold itself, throttle body, and fuel rails. This utilizes over 15 years of induction solutions for BBK. The lower manifold features an open runner design for a cooler intake air fuel mixture and identical runner shapes for equal air flow distribution. This translates into more power and torque. Under the fuel rails is a new set of 42 pound injectors from buyfordracing.com. Wrapping up the fuel system, we mounted the fuel pressure regulator and gauge directly to the BBK fuel rail. Before we dropped the 363 into our Fox body, we needed to get our clutch and flywheel installed. Spec hooked us up with a Stage 2 Plus clutch. It features a full-face carbon and Kevlar clutch disc. This will be perfect for the road race autocross duties this car will see, while retaining a smooth feel for daily driving. Complementing the Spec clutch is one of their lightweight billet aluminum flywheels. With the motor in, we bolted up BBK's full-length ceramic coated headers with 1 and 3 quarter inch primaries. Each BBK full-length header system is CAD designed and come with one-piece 3 8 inch laser cut flange for added strength and durability. The last piece from BBK was their direct fit high flow fuel pump that replaces the stock unit and delivers the extra fuel we're going to need for this stroker. For the ignition side, MSD supplied us with a 6AL2 programmable ignition controller and coil. Since we're going to use the existing MSD distributor, it only makes sense to complete the package. The 6AL2 comes now with a built-in high RPM rev limiter plus two-step control. In order to get our air fuel ratios in check, SCT sent over their CNC billet mass airflow sensor and chip. 
The multi-program switch chip allows us to manipulate the tune on our Mustang for optimal power. The chip simply installs in the side of the stock ECU and already includes a base tune to get it started. With the air fuel optimized, we made a final check of the engine bay, then loaded up our Fox body onto the dyno to see what kind of numbers we could get out of our 363. After making a couple of tugs on our dyno jet, we got an idea of how much power our small block was putting down. With 371 horsepower to the rear wheels, we saw a gain of 165 horsepower over the stock 205 horsepower. You know, when we started on this install three days ago, we knew it was going to be simple. Our SHP short block retains all our factory components, all the way down to accessories. We were able to add 165 horsepower over the 205 original horsepower, and it was 115 degrees out versus our original dyno time was 81 degrees out. Best part of all, this engine is going to last for thousands of miles to come. We can drive it just how we want it, and it'll always make the same amount of power. Now what we got to do now is put our old 302 on Craigslist and call it a day.